We had a hell of a storm last night. We're talking about significant snowfall, significant wind gusts as well, and some serious power outages too. Wind was incredible. We got trees down. There's a driveway. It's ice now. A piece of the front of the house flew off. They're completely uprooted. Yeah. Like it, several of them. I think that's from the front. It just blew all the way over here. Jeez. Just ripped the roots right apart. What happened, Katie? This one got pulled up. It's leaning. A couple more trees over here were uprooted. It's like 2011 all over again. So this one here that fell over here. Another one uprooted right here. Well, so far, every decade or so, we lose a bunch of trees. <laughs> Not that much snow back here right now. <laughs> Snapped right in half. <laughs> there used to be four trees right in a row there. Now there's three and a half trees. You have any comments on the events of last night, sir? I'm scarred for life. <laughs> you can't find this. Woo! Look at the little. <laughs> I almost bit it. It's like a beating stick. <laughs> a beating stick? <laughs> it's got a handle. Every good beating stick has a handle. Oh, jeez. Gotta get off the ice. <laughs> All the sticks everywhere. Oh, here's a tree that came down. Where'd this come from? I mean, it, was, it didn't fall here. Somebody had to drag it over. Where the hell did it come? It must have come across the road. Branches from that tree here. Oh! Oh, damn. That's where it came from. Top half of that tree snapped off, probably fell into the road, and somebody pulled it pulled across to the other side. Wow. We haven't seen winds like that since 2011 when a microburst came down over this property. This whole road knocked down dozens of trees, uprooted all kinds of stuff. It was a big mess. <laughs> Dead. Last night the power went out and Brayden wanted to read scary stories in the dark, so we did.